Well, here we go. Another course vlog deep in the heart of Georgia in the town of Canton lives Bridge Mill Athletic Club, a beautiful tree-lined course that uh, hopefully I would have better luck at than I did at the last tree line course I played out here. A gorgeous track. I mean, I absolutely was in love with this place. Cool little signature hole coming up toward the back nine. So first thing I did was just warm up the swing super early in the morning. I believe we had the first time off of the day at about 8 a.m. So I got there about an hour early, warmed up my swing and started getting things feeling pretty good what's funny is uh after warming up my swing was feeling weird but looking at it it actually looks not bad it's taking it up a little upright but hopefully i would get that straightened out on the course so here we are the first hole is a 334 yard par four we're playing the blue tees today so a little shorter than i'm used to but i'm taking a four iron here and just trying to get a good solid start to the round and I managed to hit the center of the fairway so it's a beautiful beautiful shot uh, my second shot I had 105 yards left to this green so I'm taking a 54 degree wedge and just trying to get at the flag man this thing was all over it but it went a bit long and so I was a little confused uh, I've been hitting it long since I've moved to Georgia and so it's something uh, I just got to get used to the heat, I guess, is really sending that ball a long way. So I had this about 35 footer for birdie and the greens were rolling really nice. And I was hoping to have a good, good day on the putting green because I was feeling good about the green surfaces. So good start par on the first hole. Second hole is 343 par four. There's water down straight away. So you have to lay back. Otherwise, you're going to go in the water. So again, I'm taking my four iron and just put a nice solid swing on that thing. And it was tracking right in the center of the fairway. Had 137 for my second shot. Again, you got to go over water. You don't want to miss right. So I'm taking a nine iron from 137. And I'm going to choke down a little bit and play a lower kind of punch shot. Try to cut my follow through off a little bit there. And it was pretty good. But again, I was quite a bit long. So I'm trying to get my distances together here and I'm having a difficult time doing it. About a 40 footer for birdie back into the morning sunrise. Beautiful day here. Temperature was about 85 at this point. It got up to about 95 later in the day. So a second par on the second hole. Third hole. Again, I am taking my four iron out it's a 333 yard par four uphill. Beautiful backdrop with the homes in the background. Can't go right or left. So no matter what tees I played from, I was going to just go for center of the fairway, probably an iron or something. So my second shot, 152, and I'm taking a nine iron here uphill. I thought I had room to miss on the right, but I oh, missed no. it pretty far right. Not a good swing, it just couldn't get off my right side, so it kind of blocked it way out to the right. So I have this ball is sunk down in this tall Bermuda grass that likes to gobble up the golf balls. So I'm just trying to get a good feel for what the club is going to do heading through this Bermuda. And I hit a pretty good shot, landed it right where I wanted to, but no spin coming out of that rough. So the ball rolled off about 10, 12 feet from the hole, so I had this for par. I had a good look, good beat on this thing, and just did not give it enough pace, so tapping bogey for me. Now here we're pulling out the driver for the first time. It's a 509 yard par five. You can see those trees, it's a nice shoot to look at, but after a few good swings with my, with my four iron, I'm feeling pretty good about the driver. And so I'm just trying to get a smooth strike on this and hit a good one right down the center of the fairway. So feeling good as far as finding fairways go right out of the gate. Had to run up, do my little Michael Jordan hop, more like Phil Mickelson, but either way, uh, looking it up 
there trying to bend it around to the right, but my miss is going to be short, so I took a four iron from you know, like 212 yards ish, and it came up short out of this Bermuda downhill lie. And so I'm looking out right of the hole. I'm, that's going to give me an uphill birdie putt, and I have less kind of danger to work with if I keep it a little to the right. So I hit a perfect shot right where I wanted to. 60 degree wedge, weight on my front foot, kept it down. About a 12 footer for birdie. So looking to get a good look at this. To me, it was a little right to left is what I saw. And I threw it out to the right and it kind of broke more right. So misread, probably not the best hit either. It looked like I hit it with my club face a little open. Now, this is a nice little par three. It's about 170 yards. It's playing downhill, so it's playing about 152. I've got a nine iron, and I'm going to hit it a little right to left was my plan, and I hit a great shot. Pins up front, so I figured the nine iron was the right call, and it was, and I had this maybe 20, 25-footer for birdie. Big break right to left, and I'm just hoping to get the read and the speed right got the read right. I probably could have given it a little more pace, but not one I really want to mess around with too much. I'll take a par there. 368 yard par four, sixth hole. I have the five wood. You see all those trees. I'm just trying to avoid trees and get smooth strikes. It's not a long hole, so I feel like anything in the fairway is going to give me a good look at hitting my shot close to the hole. I have 117 downhill. I'm hitting a 50 degree gap wedge and I put it slightly back in my stance. My weight is slightly forward and it's probably gonna come in there a little lower than normal, which it did. Pins all the way in the back of this green. So I was kind of going for it as best I could and hit a pretty good one in here. Fans are blowing on the greens and the humidity is pretty high today. So I'm playing this very straight, maybe right edge. And I think the I, I blame that on the fan. I think the fan was blowing it out of the whole whole way. So, I, you know, that's just not fair. Anyways, uh, this hole is a good hole. It's a 379 yard par four downhill. And again, I'm just trying to find a fairway, not too long of a hole, just kind of skinny. So I have the five wood and hit a beauty here. It hits a little speed <laughs> slot down there and just keeps going way down here. I have a pitching wedge left from about 132 hitting uphill to a tricky little green. So I'm just trying to get a good solid swing on that thing. And I hit a good one here. Nice wedge shot. And yeah, I mean, I should make this, obviously. These are pretty easy, my six, eight footer. Man, I could not read these greens. Tricky. This is a nice par three. It's playing about 123 downhill. So I have the 50 degree gap wedge, Voki SM8. And I'm just looking just left of the hole. I've been playing a little draw, so I'm gonna just not mess around too much. Put it right where I wanted it to. And maybe about a 20 footer for birdie. And the greens were rolling really nicely, that's for sure. And I was just having a difficult time getting the speed right. And then, as you could tell, if I had hit that with the right pace, it would have went in the hole. And for some reason, I was coming up a couple inches short as opposed to going about a foot by, which is kind of what you want. Ninth hole here is a 548 yard par five. I absolutely love this hole. You're going over the water, which doesn't really come into play, and then just trying to get it down there as far as possible. And I hit a great drive. And it's a layup yep. for the second shot. Either way, I couldn't reach from where I was, so I just figured I'd take the five wood and just smooth one down there uh, so I'd leave myself something you know, 80, 70, 60 yards left. So I don't really miss this shot oh, very no. often. But this time I nearly shanked it, clipped a few trees. I don't know if it looked like the shot tracer is showing you, but it definitely hit a few trees, bounced around, and I wound up here on this hard pan lie about 140 yards from the green, 
You know, I've got a nine iron just trying to get it somewhere close. Nice. Hit this good off that hard pan live. Just pushed it a little right, and I'm chipping over here in the Bermuda again. Just trying to get it up and let it run out a little bit. And managed to save disaster on this hole. Could have been a lot uglier than it was. So not a bad front side, but I feel like it could have been a lot better. Tenth hole here is 375 yard par four. I'm taking the five wood again because I do not want to run through the fairway because there's trees back there. So this is just for position to get me in the center of the fairway. And I hit a beautiful five wood. If you were behind me, you, you would see it was beautiful. It really was. Unfortunately, it went through the fairway. Uh, it was a little too good and rolled down this little hill across the cart path. I have 105 yards left. I have a seven iron and I've just got to kind of punch out, get it as close to Bye. the green as possible. So I missed left side, Bermuda rough, which I'm not a fan of. This is difficult to play out of. I hit a pretty good one, but it's hard to control the spin when that ball is sitting down that low. And I mean, but I'm putting so great today that I should manage to save par. And I read it to go right and it went left. So again, yeah, I'm just weird, struggling man. on the greens as far as my reads are today. Back. And the speed, even though the greens are not slow by any means. 11th hole is 297. So after that hole, I'm not as happy as I wish I was. And so I figured I'm going to try to swing as hard as I can and put this thing on the green. And I did. And it, I don't know if it hit anything in the air there, but it went right, hit a tree. And I ended up... I think this is in somebody's yard. It's borderline out of bounds. I definitely am in somebody's backyard lawn though, but I decided to play it anyways. And I had about uh, 112 yards. I hit a 50 degree wedge and it actually got on the green and I had this 40 footer for birdie. And you know, you're just trying to lag putt this and I hit a good putt. And that thing was tracking. It actually comes back to the left. Oh, and it's about three inches short of the hole. So I'll take a par there after that drive, though. Wasn't too disappointed. This is my favorite hole on this golf course. It's the 12th hole. It's playing 167. It's a par three. I absolutely love the houses in the background. I have an eight iron here, and I'm just trying to play that stock draw shot that I've been playing all day. Tricky green, a couple tiers on this green, pins back left. Hit a great eight iron, but it just kind of stayed right. It didn't really draw back toward the pin, but you know, if you're gonna miss, miss on the big side and not the little side. So there's a big slope about 10 feet short of the hole. You gotta get it up that thing. And I figured it would swing to the left pretty hard, but it didn't. So again, my, my green reading abilities are not up to par, let's say today at the moment. 13th hole is 503 yard par five. So short par five, but skinny, as you can tell. You've got a lot of room to the left if you're gonna make a mistake. And hopefully, well, it won't kick off the hill into the fairway if you're too high up, but if you're just a couple yards, you might get lucky. So that's kind of what I was trying to do. And I started it more center and it kind of was a push drive. And it, down here in the hazard, hit a five wood i'm aiming left because you have a lot of room there to the left and i put it nearly pin high from there in this bermuda rough and this is great because i have a lot of green to work with and i figured i just punch you know punch it up there and let it feed and roll down to the hill because it's downhill to the hole but for some reason this one didn't actually roll out like the other ones and i have this maybe 12 15 footer downhill left to right for birdie and I hit a good one. I thought I made it when I hit it, but it just didn't take the break that I thought it would take. But at least I'm starting to get the speed a little better. 14th hole is a 383 yard par four skinny little fairway. So I'd rather have a longer second shot than be in the tree. So I hit a four iron and I hit it really high on the club face. It wasn't great, but it rolled out pretty good. I had a nine iron here for my Second shot from about 142. 
and it wound up in this bunker. So this is a tough shot. I don't have much green to work with. I'm opening up that face as far as it will go, and I'm really kind of gambling here. I'm trying to get as close to that ball as possible. And oh man, this was this was a great shot, and I was happy about that. And just there you go. Moving on to the 15th hole will be a 333 yard par four. And I feel good about the driver, although it's tight. Uh, I wanna get this down there. It's playing uphill, so it plays a bit longer. And hit a really good swing on this one. Bullet right up the left center of the fairway. And have this 60 degree wedge, and it was this uphill stance, so I really gouged down into it. Didn't hit a great shot. Uh, just as you could tell, missed the green and way over here this is a big downhill swinging there's a ridge there that just takes the ball and sends it whoosh, oh. downhill far away and i would uh miss the comebacker and tap in for bogey and from the middle of the fairway with the 60 degree wedge to a friendly pin you would think you could do better now this is their signature hole here the 16th playing 169 yards today as you can tell it's almost an island green however you have plenty of room to work with. It's more visually intimidating than anything. You can miss short, you can miss a little bit long. You just can't go left. You can see left is, is trouble. So I'm trying to hook a nine iron in from the center of the green there it is. and hit a beautiful shot. There's a ridge right to the left of where I landed my ball and I just didn't get it, but I'm happy with this. 30 footer downhill right to left it actually feeds back to the right, right there and oh. My long putt game's pretty good right now, but I'm not making the 15 footers that uh, I, was, I was hoping to make. So here we go, 17th hole is a 351 yard par four, stock four iron that I fanned to the right a bit, so not my best four iron. And I have this pitching wedge left that I'm trying to fade and I double crossed it from 132 yards and pulled it into that bunker. And so I'm, again, opening that blade up. I've got a plenty of green to work with, so I'm just trying to land this on the green and let it just release to the hole. Keep my weight on that front foot. And that, I hit a really beautiful bunker shot to about six, eight feet for par. And I've been putting so great today, I should, hey, manage to make one. It's the first putt I made all day. So here we go, 18. Got to hit driver on 18. It's a par five, 543 yard hole. It's a dog leg right, slight dog leg to the right, but I'm gonna aim at the let's say left edge of those trees on the right and just try to play my little draw drive. And I'm gonna give it a little extra on this hole. And I hit a beauty. It went down, hit a little downhill and this kick forward. Had about 230 left with a five wood. And I'll tell you, it's a good thing I hit that fat. Hit pretty far behind that ball. But I only had a little pitch shot left, so if I had hit it solid, it might have gone over the green. I'm using a pitching wedge here. There's a ridge on there that I just want to land short of and let it run to the hole. I think almost went in. And I had this little three footer for my first birdie of the day on the last hole. So. Not a bad day, Finally, last not one. a great day, but a fun day out here at Bridge Mill Athletic Club in Canton, Georgia. If you're ever in the neighborhood, stop on by. I will certainly be back. This is one of my favorite tracks I've played so far. So, love you guys. See you in the next video.